Hey guys, it is John here at the Acoustic Shop, along with Mark Herring from Eastman. We got a sneak peek. We jumped into the booth extra early. The show doesn't open until tomorrow, but we're in here right now because we want to check out all the cool offerings from Eastman and Bourgeois. We're connecting up some audio here and going live. Uh, but we're gonna get all this information to you because Mark, there is a lot of new stuff that came out. This is this is probably one of our biggest debut uh, NAMs that we've done in a long time. So it's cool. almost all new stuff in the booth. Very cool. So we're gonna talk about some stuff that is specifically from Eastman, stuff that's specifically from Bourgeois. And we're gonna talk about some stuff that is not even for the acoustic shop necessarily because the kind of there's kind of a, a new product out that everybody Absolutely. wants to talk about, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna cover that as well. So, where do you want to start? Let's start. Should we with, start on the acoustic let's, side? Let's start this right over here. All right. So there's some things that were already announced, and one of them was this one right here, and we've already taken orders on it quite a bit. This is the 622 Koa, right? Is it officially called a yeah 622 CE Koa? All right. Yeah. So this is an all Koa 622. So it's gonna have the inlay all the way through uh, the fretboard, it's going to have that up into the peg head, but it's going to be a Koa top, Koa sides and back. Still going to have those appointments of the uh, nicer uh, 622 with the sound port on the side, the beveled armrest. Uh, this one has a maple neck, so is that going to continue all the way through? Because it's a six, we wanted to keep a lot of maple appointments to it. That's why it's got the maple, maple binding and the, and, the, and the maple neck. Excellent. So this is just the first prototype, right, that has made it into the States. We haven't ordered we're expecting to see actual shipments coming out. Correct, and probably mid to late summer. Okay. Yep. There you go. So that's the first one, 622 CE. Then this one's one that nobody even knew was coming out. Uh, we we knew about it, but uh, we not a lot of people got a chance to hear about this. Alternative woods are kind of all the the talk right now. Sustainability. You know that we'd have the shop sustainable mission. Well. Eastman is coming out with a sustainable option as well with the eucalyptus back and sides on a 520, 422. 422. 422. So this thing is really cool. I was surprised, me and uh, Mark were just talking about this. I expected eucalyptus to be very light in color. Ends up, it's a dark color. Uh, so looks great. We played it. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead, Mark. You got a pick on you. I do. Why don't you demo it for the folks right here? I don't, they, they've heard enough of me. about this is it's a great sounding guitar with an alternative wood that I have not heard very many people using at all. Uh, uh, do you know how that kind of came about for you? Well, the, there's, yeah, obviously with CITES and everything like that, we're trying to be a little bit more conscientious about our use of rosewood. We, there's certain models that we have to use rosewood on, so we're trying to, to open up some other alternative models that are not necessarily historically known as, as, <laughs> as sure. rosewood models, and we're trying to employ them in some different models, and we thought the 422 would be a good opportunity to do that. And, and folks, it really does. It sounds great. A uh, really cool opportunity. Uh, price point on this one, have we uh, discussed it's, it uh, yet? It's going to be $16.99 retail. Retail, all right. Yep. So there will be, a, a, obviously, a acoustic shop discounted price uh, from that, but uh, that's going to be your, your list price, correct, on that one? All right. Another unmarked secret sauce guitar right here. This one's been in the Pomona office for about <laughs> four or five months, and I just I, I have to bite my tongue because this is the one that I was most excited about. All right, so I get calls on a regular basis asking for the E1 SS Limiteds that came out. It was a hugely popular model. Extremely yeah. popular, and everybody wanted, where's the upgraded version of that? Now, or are there more of them? Lo no, and behold. there aren't. <laughs> Until now. Yeah. This is the new E6 SS TC. Yeah. So it's an E6 in that it's going to be mahogany back and sides with a really cool color. It's almost a burst, a uh, reddish burst color to this. I guess orangish burst. I don't know what. Yeah, they just did a little shading on the. You know, yeah, from on the, that. From, yeah, yeah. Sure. And then uh, you'll also have a thermo cured Sitka spruce yeah. top on this with that uh, <clears throat> slope shoulder. And then they even went herringbone on this, which is a little bit uh, of a, a rogue move uh, from the sixes as well. I, I love the herringbone with the fire stripe pickguard. I agree with that. Yeah. You know, that pick card that we all know. We know where that came from. We all know. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we want the uh, Mario Pru and the uh, folks up there for Tortoloid no. Guards. We got to introduce Eastman to those, and they're just great. But this guitar is fantastic. Oh. 
this is going to be the guitar if you're looking for a shoulder guitar in affordable price range that has the mahogany look with a natural top this is going to fit all that bill right there. Everybody is going to be, I think, jumping in on this one pretty hard. 1489 so, list with a hard shell case. 1489. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. Very affordable. We'll put you probably closer to the 12. -ish Somewhere range, in that ballpark, yeah. Uh, as a street price. So again, great. Do we have questions or? No. I thought I thought that's what she's coming at us uh, for. All right. So here's another one that is really really important. We have sold so many pre-orders. In fact, if you have not got your pre-order and you better do it really really quick on this. This is the E20 MRTC, E20D, E20 OM. That's the Madagascar Rosewood. These are gorgeous. I just played them here a little bit ago. Take a look at that. Madagascar Rosewood. These are fantastic. I think our street price on this is just over $2,300. Um, so we've got these on our site, and you can reserve them. It is gorgeous Madagascar Rosewood with a thermo-cured Addy top. Um, this is kind of that bluegrass monster dread that everybody's been uh, waiting for. So, uh, again, jump on these while you can. I, I've talked to other folks, that, uh, other guitar builders that have been looking at uh, the uh, Madagascar Rosewood, and they're like, how is it that they're going to even be able to issue a whole guitar for less than most of them are buying sets for? And that's, that's what's awesome. So, again... Again, not the best sound area right here. They're still setting up the booth. You can hear all the forklifts and there's everything no, else no going carpet on. on the no ground. carpet out <laughs> here. It's a, it's gonna. But trust me, I had it in my hands. This thing is a powerhouse dread. And it's it is, it's got that classic that classic rosewood uh, 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 dread sound. Absolutely. And the OM is equally as impressive. Uh, we've sold a lot of these as well. So again, this one's an example. Look at that Madagascar rosewood. Back in size, really cool. Uh, this is that same uh, center stripe as the E40, yes. correct? Yes. So, uh, herringbone fronts, thermo cured Addy. Again, a beautiful example. And this is going to be definitely, if you were like going, well, I wonder what those are going to be like, guess what? They're going to be fantastic. So, you definitely want to jump on these while you can. Um, they're going to be somewhat limited. Uh, I know they're going to have a lot of them coming out uh, over this year, but it's Madagascar Rosewood. There's only so much of it. Exactly. So if you're thinking you want to get one, you better jump on them pretty darn quick. And, and I, we're not calling it a limited run, but when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, it has to be limited. <laughs> there's just no choice. It's, it's, yeah. There's not a specific number to it right now, but as uh, those uh, as the supplies deplete, yeah. Yeah. there's no other option. So, you feel like moseying? Yeah, let's do it. Let's talk mandolins. So... The new one that everybody, we do have some pre-orders taken on this one. This is the MD0605 Gold Burst mm -hmm. GB. Um, again, you guys heard it the same thing we did. Uh, we love the MD30, MD0305, huge seller. We can't keep them in stock ever. And then, But everybody's like, I think I want an upgraded stage version of that. Exactly. Mandolin. So that's what this is, right? It, that's exactly what it is. So we added the block inlays, fully bound, beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, shading. On the gold burst, and we've added a K and K pickup. Yep. To it. All right, and as well as the finger rest or pick guard, yep. uh, as well. So again, this is an affordable price range. Still, it is going to be quite a bit more than the MDO 305 at list price at 2079. Correct. So, um, but this is your pro level uh, octave, octave mandolin. mandolin. Yep. So can't beat that. I'm going to jump a little bit here in that we kind of done a little bit on this and you're going to see a more in-depth review. We were at the Pomona facility talking about this. This is another big surprise for uh, Eastman and Bourgeois because Bourgeois is actually going to be releasing a mandolin. And this has all the pro features, a lot of things that are like super high end that is going to be really, really excited. Well, uh, everything on this is thermo cured. Yep, the entire instrument is thermo So we got a thermo cured Addy top on this. Correct. We have thermo cured highly figured maple back and sides on this looks gorgeous all the way up through the neck which also is nice ne to go on top of that it has a lot of upgraded hardware such as the uh what are that? Golden, golden era age. yeah golden era uh tuners uh or golden age you're right it was yep. golden age and the james Changed. tailpiece and the so, uh, the bracing on it on it is also tor uh, uh, torified uh, uh, really? adirondack. Adirondack? Yeah. so there you go thermal cure or, or torified
So again, a monster, monster mandolin. This will be releasing this year. Have we got a price point on it already? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's thirty. It it's, uh, it's, Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Yeah. Is that correct? Uh, I thought it was thirty-two, but I could be wrong. So. It says that. <laughs> yeah. It may be thirty-two. We don't yeah. know. It'll be somewhere in there. It's, it's still anyway. a little bit down the road, but, yes. but yeah. And F styles are coming. They actually have it. They just did not make it to this show. So those are on their way and being built as well. Mm -hmm. um, so this is another one that we do have coming to the shop. You know that we're venturing into the arch top world more so. Always carried some. We're going to even do some more, which is the AR uh, 480 CE. So this is the new Pisano model. Yeah. So so when we introduced the 380, which was our first laminate Pisano model a couple of years back, it was hugely popular. Mm -hmm. um, John Pisano is even in his 90th birthday is still a tone freak. And he wanted to go through and further refine that old 380, and that's what we've done here. The the uh, the, the laminate top is a little bit thicker than the 380, and it, it is something that John was just like painstakingly involved in. Very very cool. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous guitar. It look at that flame back on that one too as well. Uh, you said you recently got this to him, right? Uh, to John? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. And, and he loves it. He absolutely loves it. Um, I, I'm, I'm an archtop guy. You yeah, know that. I know you that. Know that. I this, love archtop. I wish I was. This instrument. Ready. This instrument is arguably the best laminate archtop that we've ever built. It's, cool. it's, it is head and shoulders. Cool. Um, so is it archtop? Is it, are they still carving it, or are they going to steam uh, the tops on it's those? It's a press. It's, press. it's done in a press. Yeah. I, um, the way it, it's traditionally been done. I was just but curious it's, if But it's the recipe different. of the laminate. And so, so you know, a lot of the, some of the early laminate archtops were just they, whatever, whatever they could find sure. laying around. It might be birch. It might be maple or whatever. <laughs> um, oh. John did a lot of research going back even with John Monteleone and everything like that. Yeah. And getting getting right really into the weeds when it came to the rest what he calls the recipe of the, the laminate and that's very, what we cool. that's what we finally been able to nail very in cool. this one so I've got some of those coming into the shop as well um, I think I ordered two I don't, I don't remember at least one uh, so again we'll be getting those as soon as they're available probably expect it again that September and by the way you might want to mention the price because okay. this this is it's uh, what 1895 or, uh, 1925 so probably around 1775 and, and and in the archtop world, that may sound like it's an entry level price. This is a professional guitar. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, and that's been the story with Eastman yeah. archtops yeah. forever. Is you yeah. know, you're getting pro level uh, instruments at a price point that's just incredible. So, I'm gonna cover this because this is where it gets a little bit odd. And I know we'll go over to the other room. This is not an acoustic shop normal, but this is Eastman's new flagship uh, guitar that they want to talk all about, which is their own design solid body electric guitar. Yeah. This is the sequel to the Romeo that was released a little while ago, I want two, three years ago, right before the pandemic. Right before right? the pandemic, yeah. yeah. We, the original Romeo. The original Romeo. Yeah. And now we have the Juliet. So the Juliet is going to be the first uh, fully designed solid body guitar that Eastman has ever put out in three different colors with yes. two different styles, correct? Correct. So we have two colors with the full humbuckers. Uh, I'm going to correct you on that. Okay. Technic technically, there's three different styles. So we okay. have we have what we call the Pomona, oh, yes. the, the Pomona Blonde with, uh -huh. a, with a set of humbuckers. Pomona is our uh, headquarters in yes. California. Absolutely. Which and I it, love this color, by the way. It's almost like a semi-translucent... Uh, so fars. Yep. Antique varnish and adds... A Bigsby. A Bigsby. Are the pickups different? Uh, on this? No, they're the same. They're the same bare knuckle uh, 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 humbuckers. Okay, yep. but just now with the more war, and hey, you guys know if you've looked at any of the varnish instruments, this is what Eastman does that nobody else can do. Since they are so tied into the violin world, they're doing a violin varnish finish on these guitars, and it has been extremely popular. With I a, mean, for with a tad of tasteful <laughs> aging. Aging. That's right. Well, that's part of the uh, violin varnish technique. Yeah. That has kind of been the whole thing so mm -hmm. um, absolutely incredible with the uh, Bigsby's like I said you have a little bit of the aging on the hardware as well um, these are uh, coming in I was reading the, uh, the uh, brochure with it they're gonna come in with a gig bag but you can add a optional hard you can shell you case. can upgrade to a hard shell case it's the first time we've done a rectangular case and the cases are absolutely beautiful they are really nice I saw those in the Pomona facility look really really nice mm -hmm. I don't want to interrupt. I know we marked that we were going to talk about Bourgeois as well, and there is the Touchstone series. We have a lot of that, but I know they're doing a whole walkthrough of the Bourgeois booth, and I don't want to uh, wear out my welcome in here right now, but we will definitely come back and talk more about uh, Bourgeois Touchstone 
Uh, we have videos you saw. There is a live on this channel where you will see us doing some demos of the bourgeois. And we'll have Chris machines. Fleming from Bar bourgeois, bourgeois so that you can ask Absolutely. him questions as Including well. some new guitars that we have actually selected from the booth that will be coming home uh, to the uh, acoustic shop as well. So, I don't, like I said, I don't want to jump on top of anything. Again, if you missed any of the cool stuff that's here, we're just doing a quick sneak peek. We will be back in the booth. I know we will be filming some other content as well uh, before the weekend is over. But this was our first start and a first look. And I appreciate Mark and I appreciate the whole Eastman team letting us get in here. We snuck in. We had to actually do some weird like hog tying of security guards. And it was like this whole like weird heist kind of movement that we did to make this all happen. There were smoke bombs involved. There were smoke bombs. There was gas masks. <laughs> it was a weird deal. This guy, man, way more physical than you'd expect. I fell like four times. He picked me up, carried me. He carried me out of here. It was amazing. And all your equipment. And all the equipment. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of the sneak peek of the Eastman booth this year at the at the summer slash winter slash the NAM 2022. That's what it's going to be called. And uh, we're in here sneak and peek for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay with us all weekend. We're going to have content on every single channel, social media. So get uh, involved in all those because there's going to be tons of great things. This is just our sneak peek, so we'll see you guys later on.